Hi, this is Niall Cregan uh, from GitLab, and we're just doing a quick video to do a run through of how to use the new keyword research sheets. Uh, so I'm just going to share my desktop screen. And this is the new uh, the new sheet format. Uh, so basically, what it is is we hey, will. Niall. Yeah. So, sorry to interrupt. I see your desktop. I don't see the sheet. What do you not? No. Uh, Is it now? Yep. We're good now. So just to uh, give a quick run through of how to use the sheet. So the front end of the sheet is uh, the keyword groups list. And basically it is a drop down under each uh, category term of a list of keywords. Um, so we can see the targeting keywords here and the search volume. They've all been previously scored in order before putting into the final sheet. Uh, one of the good things about about this new setup is, for example, if we know we want to target a specific keyword, we can just go to the initial SEMrush export. And I've already done a drop down on the top 10 trending articles for each one of the keywords and highlighted anyone that we already have a ranking for in red. So we can use the filter system to put in the target keyword we want to use and identify whether it's already targeted or not, but also it will give us the exact page that it's on and what section in the website. So whether it's still worth going after or not, uh, which would allow us to ensure that we're kind of targeting the right pages with the right keywords. Um, so this is obviously for the at learn segment. Uh, so basically the, the project's uh, particulars here were to identify based on con or keyword gap analysis, what competitors kind of structure you are using for learning portals. Uh, using that then identified multiple subcategories and uh, developed a keyword list for each one, which means we can target the same kind of category terms they're going for, but also in specific areas, it showed that there is um, a huge area uh, of targeting that we can apply for or go after, uh, which should give very good results. Um, and basically looks at a lot of the kind of learning term queries that people might look for within those search categories. So that's just a basic overview of the shirt, the, the new sheet and how it operates. Yeah, I think this is great now. Um... You know, so for people that are watching that may not be familiar, can you just click on the Learn Git Expander again? Uh, the top one, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you have the intent column here, and, you know, we have different stages there. Can you just go over, like, you know, how we think about that from a keyword perspective and how that fits into a content strategy? Yeah, so obviously when you're targeting a specific content, you want to look at what stage the buyer is in. Uh, so whether it is top of funnel, mid funnel, or bottom of the funnel, and usually these uh, these sections of the funnel align with a specific type of intent. So if it's the top of the funnel, it's generally going to be informational based queries, which is kind of how to, where to. Uh, so informational based queries for how to approach a certain topic or to inform yourself whether to do a specific job. Uh, if you're looking for the middle of the funnel, it's usually kind of commercial investigation. So it is more looking for um, commercially backed knowledge by case studies to back a decision. Uh, so it could be case studies, could be um, could be testimonials from buyers, uh, specific video content, etc. And then bottom of the funnel is generally transactional. So it's looking to the next step just before making the actual purchase to back up uh, the decision they've already made. And we can also align these types of the funnel with specific content types by analyzing what types of content are showing for those queries in the top results. And that means this is the type of information or the format of information that search engines would like to supply to these people and it's giving the best results. Um, in doing the at learn, since it's a learning uh, segment that we're looking at, the majority of key terms are going to be based at informational level. So that's just a result of the type of uh, content that would be required for that, uh, that portal section. Gotcha. So we, we use the language of the query to help us understand the intent of the person that's making that search and then try to answer that question. Yeah. So ideally you go after, you could, you could focus on long tail queries that have the intent modifiers built in. So an intent modifier is a modifier that would be placed along with a keyword. So if your keyword was GitOps, a modifier would be how to apply or when to apply. And what a modifier does is explains to the search engine, the type of query that the searcher is implementing. So using this uh, in context with the initial query, it understands what type of information that the searcher is looking for. Great. 
Well, this is, I, I'm, I'm really excited about this new format, Niall, and I think this will really help uh, as we ramp up the learn section on the marketing website. Is there anything else uh, you have in the sheet that you, you want to show? Uh, this is the primary front end that the users will will implement, but um, I think an important section here is the export section because once you choose the keywords you want to go after, you can simply go to the export function here, uh, slip it into the filter. It will bring you up the keywords you're targeting, but also it will provide you with all the top 10 um, URLs for that content. So for content gap analysis from a content writing perspective, it will allow you to go in and see the format, the type of content that's been provided and help inform the content construct you want to develop and deliver. Uh, each one's a URL as well. So it's just simply a click the link and it'll deliver you right to that page. Right, because if, if we look at these results and we see like the top result and see kind of how it's formatted and you know see that, hey, this is what's answering this question um, and that helps us kind of know how to format our content and plus the other content we see out there to be even more informative, um, more helpful, um, not just copy, but build on um, and improve, right? Yeah, and also you can define whether it's going to be a PDF, is the video assets on page, is the subsections within the content that they're targeting that we haven't included within ours, so we can actually optimize or further optimize even existing pages for certain categories with that. So it gives you a full overview of the competitive landscape as it is at the time of the execution. Well, this is great. Um, I, I, um, I'm excited to share this video and uh, see this work start to inform um, what we're doing across the marketing website. So thanks, Mel. All right.